So, good morning everyone. So, yung i-discuss namin sa inyo is about helicopter flight control. So, sa helicopter flight control, meron tayong five kinds of control. Meron tayong collective, cyclic, anti-torque pedal, the throttle, and the correlator or the governor. So, yung i-discuss ko sa inyo is the cyclic flight control and the anti-torque pedal. So, for my discussion, um, babasahin ko muna kung ano yung na-research ko about my topic, tapos i-discuss ko ito kung paano ko ito naintindihan. So, unahin na natin is yung cyclic pitch control. So, sabi dito, yung cyclic pitch control daw is usually projected upward from the cockpit floor between the pilot's legs or between the two pilot seats. So, this primary flight control allows the pilot to fly the helicopter in any direction or travel. Its purpose is to tilt the tip path plane in the desired direction. Tapos, the cyclic control, the rotor disc, tilt versus the horizon, which directs the rotor disc thrust to enable the pilot to control the direction of travel of the helicopter. The rotor disc tilts in the same direction the cyclic pitch control is moved. If the cyclic is moved forward, the rotor disc tilts forward. If the cyclic is moved aft, the disc tilts aft. Because the rotor disc acts like a gyro, the mechanical linkage for the cyclic control rods are rigid. So yun nga. So yung sa cy- ang sabi dito is yung cyclic pitch control daw is makikita natin sa may cabin or sa may pilot's area. Ito ay nasa may nose part ng ating aircraft at yung cyclic pitch control natin is makikita natin siya dun sa may unahan ng ating aircraft between the pilot's seat or nasa between the pilot's leg. Kumbaga, sa sasakyan, ito yung nagsisilbing manibela. So, kagaya ng manibela ng sasakyan, yung cyclic pitch control natin para sa aircraft is ito yung nagsasabi kung anong direction or ito yung nagiging guide ng ating aircraft kung saan direction tayo pupunta. Kung gusto ba natin mag-move forward, backward, or sideward. So, yung ating pitch control is yung nag a sa helicopter para mag-move sa direction na kung saan nito gustuhin. So, another one is yung cyclic pitch control, ito yung nagda-direct sa rotor disc para mag-move yung ating aircraft. Halimbawa, gusto natin mag-move forward. So, ipupush natin yung cyclic pitch control natin forward. Tapos, yung cyclic disc natin or yung ating motor disc is magbeb... Meron kasi siyang control rod na nakakonekta sa ating main rotor papunta dun sa... At na nakakonekta sa ating cyclic pitch control. Na kapag minove natin yung ating pitch control or yung cyclic pitch control forward, yung mga control rod na nasa main rotor is magbe-bend siya forward. Tapos, ang mangyayari dito is yung ating main rotor magbe-bend siya in a forward position at dito mangyayari mag-move yung ating aircraft forward. Tapos, ganun din siya pag backward. Hihilahin lang ng pilot yung ating pitch control backward tapos magbebend yung ating main rotor with the control rod at magmo-move yung ating aircraft backward. So next, it is similar in appearance on most helicopters to a control stick from a conventional aircraft. Helicopters with fly-by-wire system allow a cyclic style controller to be mounted to the side of the pilot seats. The cyclic is used to control the main rotor in order to change the helicopter's direction of movement. During forward flight, the cyclic control puts cause flight path changes similar to fixed wing aircraft. The control is called cyclic because it changes the mechanical pitch angle of feathering angle of each main rotor blade independently, depending on its position in the cycle. The pitch is changed so that each blade will have the same angle of incidence as it passes the same point in the cycle, changing the lift generated by the blade at the point and causing each blade to the fly up or down in sequence as it passes the same point. So yun nga. So sa at sa ibat ibang aircraft, meron 
then iba't meron ding iisa lang or isang klase lang ng pitch control. Meron lang isa siyang manibela or yung cyclic pitch control. Ito is yung control stick. Isa pa tawag dito is yung control stick. So, yun nga, yung sinabi ko kanina, na kapag yung ating cyclic pitch control is pinush forward ng pilot, yung ating main rotor is magbebend din siya forward para mag-move yung ating air yung ating aircraft into forward direction. So, ang sabi dito sa na-research ko is bukod sa nag-tilt or nag-bend yung ating main rotor in a forward position, magtitilt din siya or magtitilt din yung ating mga rotor blades para yung ating yung forward ng at, or yung movement ng ating aircraft is magiging stable pa rin. So, next is the anti-torque pedal. So, connection siya sa ating cyclic pitch control. Ang anti-torque pedal naman is makikita natin siya sa may tail part ng ating, ng ating aircraft. So, anti-torque, ibig sabihin, ito is nasa may tail rotor. So, anti-torque pedals are located in the same place as the rotor pedals in an airplane and serve a similar purpose that they control the direction that the nose of the aircraft points. Applying the pedal in a given direction changes the tail rotor blade pitch, increasing or reducing tail rotor thrust and making the nose yo in the direction of the applied pedal. Stating that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This law applies to the helicopter fuse launch and its rotation in the opposite direction of the main rotor blades unless counteracted and controlled. To make flight possible and to compensate for this torque, most helicopter designs incorporate an anti-torque rotor or, rot or tail rotor. So, ang sinasabi dito is yung anti-torque natin is ito yung nagsisilbing um, pangtigil sa ating aircraft para hindi siya continuous umikot. Kasi halimbawa, kapag meron lang tayong main rotor, tapos yung ating body ng aircraft, kung wala tayong anti-torque or wala tayong tail rotor, mag-move or mag-rotate lang na mag-rotate yung ating aircraft. So, hindi siya mag-move forward kasi aangat lang siya tapos iikot lang ng iikot yung ating body ng aircraft dun sa kanyang main rotor. So, ang function ng anti-torque is para mag-stabilize yung ating aircraft sa position na gusto nito. So, yung anti-torque pedal is in connection with the ating nose of the aircraft. Halimbawa, yung ating aircraft is in position. So, umaandar yung main rotor natin at umaandar din yung ating tail rotor. So, kapag yung ating anti-torque pedal, ito yung magsasabi kung gusto ba ng pilot na mag-move into different direction. Halimbawa, gusto niya mag-move to the left. So, aapakan lang ng pilot yung, anti yung ating pedal na nasa, may, na nasa paanan niya yung left pedal. Tapos, ang mangyayari is yung ating anti-torque pedal. Kapag inapakan ng pilot yung anti-torque pedal, which is either the left or the right, mag-move yung ating tail rotor. Halimbawa, inapakan niya yung anti-torque pedal na left. Yung ating tail rotor is mag-move siya automatically into left position, kaya iikot yung ating aircraft. Ngayon, dahil sa pag-ikot na to, ito yung panibagong movement or ito yung panibagong position ng aircraft na nagawa. So, kung ano yung position or kung ano yung pasaang direction yung gusto ng pilot, ito yung anti-torque pedal na aapakan niya. So, halimbawa, kapag inapakan ng pilot is yung... Um, left pedal, mag-move nga yung ating aircraft or yung tail part ng ating aircraft into left. Kapag naman inapakan niya yung right, mag-move siya into right. Pero kung walang inaapakan yung ating pilot, mag-move lang siya into straight direction. So, 
That's it para dun sa discussion na cyclic pitch control at anti-torque pedal. So, para sa discussion ng throttle and ng correlator governor, so, watch the next video.